guys, welcome back to another Reader's Workshop mini lesson. This week we have been doing some great learning around monitoring our comprehension. And to help us do that, we've been following that inner conversation that goes on in our head as we read. We know that the inner conversation can say many things to us and can help us get some understanding of the text. We also know that sometimes as we're reading, we get a little bit confused about what's going on in the text, and that's called a ha moment. We've learned how we can turn that ha huh moment into the light bulb moment, that oh, now I get it moment. And these are some strategies that great readers use. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be thinking or looking back of all the things that, that our inner conversation has been saying to us over this week. And we're going to be reflecting on what our thinking is doing as we're reading. What I've done is I've gone back and collected some of my entries over the week about my inner conversation and I've put them in this spot here. So I noticed that I've got some ha huh moments. I noticed that I was able to use some fix up strategies. I was, I was having some wow moments when I read some, some cool facts or some new information. I was inferring about how some things were going in this um, article about an Anzac soldier. I was thinking about the characters. I was connecting to what I know about characters. I was also inferring and then predicting about what's going to happen next in the story. So what I then did is I used the sentence starter. What I'm noticing about my thinking. And I was able to use this to reflect back on the types of thinking that, I, that happens in my head as I'm reading. What I'm noticing about my thinking is that I was able to stop when I had a ha huh moment and use a fix-up strategy to get my meaning back. I noticed that I was connecting to the characters in the story branded. I was able to connect to what I know about characters. I know I've seen a stereotypical class clown in movies, and that's what Oswald reminded me of. I was also inferring and predicting what will happen next in the story. So that is me reflecting on the different things that my inner conversation is saying to me as I'm reading. I know that I infer and predict. I know that I make connections. And I also know that I can fix up confusion moments or ha huh moments. So to help you with or to help you do that today, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. If you use sticky notes like me, awesome. Pull them off your notebook and put them on one page so you can see them all together and then you can reflect about them in one spot. If you don't have sticky notes, a great way to do it or to create your own sticky notes is to take photos of your notes. So go flip back through your notebook, take photos of your notes, and then you can use the drawing feature on Seesaw and just add those photos into one place. And then you can just use the text box to write your reflection. If you can't take photos, choose a few thoughts, write them on a new entry and reflect about them that way. I look forward to reading about what you've noticed about your inner conversation because it's always great to reflect on the types of thinking that you're doing as you're reading.